Joined alongside by UFC lightweight Mark Bocek, who battles Ben Henderson. UFC 129, live and only on pay-per-view at the Rogers Center here in Toronto before 55,000 people. Mark, thank you very much for your time. Let's talk about this huge fight for you. When you got the call to fight on this card in front of 55,000 people, what were your thoughts? I was very excited. Um, won with the opportunity to fight here in Toronto and uh, excited to fight Ben Henderson. He's a former champ. Uh, it's the kind of fights I look for. I think I match up well with him. I don't think he's fought anyone like me before, and uh, I welcome the challenge. You've been inside the Octagon since 2007. This is his first time inside the Octagon. Do you feel that he's going to succumb to the Octagon jitter, so to speak? It's hard to say for sure. Um, one thing we can say, he's never fought in front of a crowd like this. I think the biggest crowd he's ever fought of is, you know, Palms. And I fought in the Palms, and that's more like a king of the cage crowd. So, you know, this is big. This is 55. The biggest I've done is 23 at, at uh, UFC 124. Um, so, you know, as any, any butterflies I feel, I think his are going to be just as bad, if not worse. So, uh, you know, I'm just, it's, he's, he's just another guy, just another fight. I'm just... Uh, just fighting a, a sack of flesh and bones, you know. So. Do you feel, as you mentioned, that you did fight in front of 23,000 people, that it's going to be an easier adjustment for you to fight in front of 55,000 people because of where you fought before? Yeah, I think because of that and uh, just because of the way I look at fights. I look at fights as more of a training session. I don't try and put, uh, put too much pressure on myself. I try and have fun. So I, I go into fights to have fun. I think he's going into this fight as in this is his hometown. I have to beat him and... I think that's the wrong way to go into fights. You put too much pressure on yourself and you don't, uh, you don't perform to your optimal. So uh, I think I, I, I'm going to have a little mental edge there. And, uh, but he's going to be hungry for a win, you know. But uh, I think I match up well with him. Why did you decide to go elsewhere and kind of bounce around in this training camp? Well, you know, you have to change things up. You have to find uh, simulation training partners. You know, Ben's a southpaw, so I have to, I have to find as many southpaws as I can. And... Uh, I was able to find uh, a, f a few high-level southpaws to train with for this fight, and uh, it worked out well. The simulation worked out good. I mean, the, the focus of the camp was around me. I got, a, I got a really good push. It's the toughest camp I've ever had, and um, I believe this is the best version of me yet. Give us your prediction for Saturday night in front of 55,000 people at UFC 129, live and only on pay-per-view. Oh, I don't have a crystal ball, but uh, I predict either... Uh, submission or decision win for myself. Mark, good luck. We look forward to seeing you fight on Saturday night, UFC 129. Thanks for having me. Mark Bochak, Ben Henderson, one, UFC 129, live and only on pay-per-view this Saturday.